Hello, hi, and welcome to Political Quickie, your political show that subjectively discusses current affairs in South Africa and all around the world. My name is Map Asik Amura. Now, Israel took to the polls today, and South Africa will do the same in 29 days. However, on the other hand, turmoil continues on the African continent. Anti-government protests are becoming more volatile in Sudan. Now, the Northeast African nation uh, has seen unrest since December when citizens took to the streets to demand the resignation of President Omar al-Bashir. President Omar al-Bashir began his presidency in 1989 as the seventh president of Sudan. Now a lot of South Africans will actually remember him as the guy whom President Jacob Zuma refused uh, to hand over to the International Criminal Court as he faces charges of genocide, crimes against humanity and war crimes. However, it is very important to note that all the suspects and perpetrators of the International Criminal Court are African. However, there are allegations that Chief Prosecutor Fadal Ben Suda was refused entry into the U.S. because she is currently investigating the United States of America. In December, the Sudanese government announced that they would triple the price for bread and that's when the people decided nope, they had had enough and they took to the streets. Now, Omar al-Bashir says that his opponents should face him in a democratic and legal manner by going to the polls, which he has successfully managed to win for the past three decades. Yeah. So, what's amazing and interesting about this entire conflict is that the army slowly but surely is backing the people. The army is protecting the people against their commander-in-chief. <laughs> so that is called democracy. It is called patriotism because they are protecting the people they took an oath for versus a leader that is replaceable. So we will see how, you know, all of this continues and unravels and hopefully he will step down and give someone else a chance who is young, has a vision and will hopefully take Sudan to new heights. My name is Mapa Sekamura. Use your talents to serve humanity and I will see you guys on Thursday. Goodbye.